Pop so that we have the vol- Valuetainment Pulling Analytics, and you're going to see that because we're going to pull stuff together and, and try to make sense of it. This is real data. There's no jokes here. So let's start with Iowa in the Valuetainment too damn early poll. We, <laughs> we took a look at the last three um, reputable pollsters. Now, they're not always right, but these are national pollsters. Some lean left, some lean right, but they're real polling groups. Signal it, did it at the beginning of April, American Greatness at, right at the second week of May, and then right after the Trump town hall, uh, a, a three-day poll was run by Emerson, This is a very reputable group. Again, they lean left, not always right, but the reputable. Take a look at this. Trump went from plus seven on the signal poll to 18 American greatness poll to plus 42. Look what happened there. And you look how Pence... Tom, can you explain it for people to see it? So if, if I'm looking at it, look at Emerson and go right across. Look at the dates, right? 519 through 522 shows Trump 62, DeSantis 20, Pence 5, Haley 5, Ramzwani 2, and it says Trump is now up 42. So on go across place. while Tom is explaining this. Go ahead, Tom. Yep, and then you go to American Greatness. That poll was taken two weeks, you know, about, about a week and a half prior, about a week and a half prior. Trump was at 44, according to American Greatness. DeSantis was 26, wow. and Pence was right. 4, and Haley was 6, and Ramaswani. So you... And so Trump was up 18 on second place to Santos. And then the signal poll that was at the beginning of April. Remember, beginning of April, there's a lot of media running around, but neither Trump or DeSantis had done anything really huge. And so Trump was plus seven. So there was a big pop. Now, that's Iowa, which is a blue state. And the red part of Iowa is very dedicated. And remember, that's Trump land. That's middle America. Now let's scroll down and look at New Hampshire. In the too damn early poll. The New Tam- New Hampshire too damn early poll. The St. Anselm ran it right at the end of March. Trump was 42. DeSantis, 29. Trump was 13. Then the University of New Hampshire, that's UNH, right in the middle of April, April 13th to 14th, they ran the poll. Trump was 42. DeSantis was 22, so Trump by 20. And then American Greatness ran a poll right in the middle of May, but right after the to be ma- clear, American greatness has nothing to do with MAGA, make America great again. Correct. It just this happens just, to have the same word. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. They're just these are just thank you very much. That's great correct. Wording. Just the that's just the name of the polling group. And Trump was 39 to Santa's 18. Now in New Hampshire, there's the son of the former governor, Chris Sununu, former governor and also prominent in the Bush White House, Bush Senior White House, John Sununu. So Sununu has got home court advantage up there. But look, Sununu in the recent poll was basically tied with the Santa 17 to 18 and Trump's 21 up on everybody. And so it's a little bit early, but this is showing Trump got a real bump. And then we pulled the net. By the way, if you look at if you go back up to that real quick, look at Ramazwani doubled. Yeah. Yep. Look, at, mm. look at his moment. You know, they shut him down on LinkedIn, and then he came yeah. back up. What, what they was did that on all LinkedIn. about with the LinkedIn? Situation? He said something. He uh, oil uh, or? Yeah, he's coming. He's, he made a comment about fossil fuel, and Don't LinkedIn, come. on the green side, got all pissed off and shut him off. Oh, God. And uh, let's look at just a real quick national look. Now, remember... The primaries is what matters. So the reason we're looking at states... Tom, be- get up there and do your dance while no, you yeah, can't the camera, see it. The the yeah, let's dance this but, thing, um, right? You can see here, Trump is the purple line at the top, and the vertical line there is May 11th. That is the CNN town hall. Trump got a pop up after the CNN town hall. See there? To... to to highest ever, mm-hmm. and then you see he drops down a bit. That was seven days ago when DeSantis said, I'm officially running and I'm going to make my announcement, and then DeSantis got uh, a little bit of air in the room. But look at everybody at the bottom, just kind of bang around at the bottom, Pence, Haley, and everybody. This is a two-horse race, but look at the trend line. The trend line doesn't look good for DeSantis right now on a national basis. Now, we've just... He does have a bump back up, though, if you look at it. Slight Correct. bump back up. And, what and Trump's got a bump down since Twitter spaces, if you look at it. 